All right, so now we're going to have a look at some radioisotopes in medicine, and in particular, cobalt-60. Now, cobalt-60 is a medicinal radioisotope, um, and the usage we're going to look at is right here, which is radiotherapy. And uh, This machine is, I've not just written that because it's awesome, this machine is a cancer bomb. Um, and basically, you have a cobalt-60 source up here, and it emits its radiator, it emits its radiation, which is funneled through here in a beam. Um, that that radiation is gamma radiation, and it's used to irradiate a cancerous tissue. So it's a very specific beam. You can see that it's pushed down here into, because it's moving at the speed of light. It doesn't have a lot of time to spread out and cause other issues. It's a very directed beam. All right, so. It decays to nickel 60. Okay, so it starts off as cobalt 60 and decays to nickel 60. Um, and while doing this, it emits beta and gamma radiation. Um, it, we produce it via neutron bombardment. So again, in a um, in a nuclear reactor, we use co we put cobalt 59, uh, which is non-fissile, and then that becomes radioactive, a radioisotope after it absorbs all the neutrons to cobalt 60 and we see here um, down the bottom that we have uh, cobalt 60 here um, and it will decay and you know, lose a beta particle which means a proton has turned into a neutron and then we have nickel um, 60 plus some gamma rays coming off. Um, so basically it's used for treatment of cancer. The gamma rays um, irradiate the affected tissue, which kills the cancer cells as well as, and this is the downside of it, the surrounding tissue. Um, but the suitability of the half-life is really important. Essentially, the half-life is five years. Now, what this actually means is we can, because that's quite that's a reasonable length half-life. It's not millions of years or billions of years the way some other ones are, but it's a it's a reasonable half-life, so we can store it in the equipment, and we'd only need to replace it every five or so years. Because it's a short half-life, it's not like in the seconds or nanoseconds range, but because it's a short half-life, it also means that it is a relatively intense radiation. So let's just note that down while we're at it. Um, so if a half-life is, so shorter half-life equals um, higher levels slash intensity. Now, have a quick think about that. That makes sense. Um, basically, if something has a fast half-life, that means it's actually getting rid of, it's, it's half of its mass is turning to something else very, very quickly. And so that's, that's where that becomes relevant. Um, and, that, and so in a short amount of time, half of its mass is a different thing. In this case, uh, cobalt becomes nickel. So in about five years, half of that cobalt will be nickel 60. Um, yeah. All right, cool. Hope that made sense, and we'll see you next one.